Hi everyone, this is Ryan here and uh, for today's topic, I'm going to be talking about three most common trading, trading mistakes. Alright, so, you know, in, in my years of uh, trading, I realized that there are three main mistakes that uh, most traders make. Now, the first one is uh, trading against the trend. All right. So, you know, there are times where you look at a chart and the, the price of the currency pair is just going upwards and upwards and upwards and lots of traders are refusing to enter the trade when they can see so clearly that the price is going to go up. Right? The reason why they do this is because they feel that they might be too late. All right? They might be too late and most traders prefer to pick the tops. Right? That means they want to sell at the top right at the very top and they want to buy right at the very bottom now we must understand that you know as day traders right day traders meaning you 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 enter a trade today and then probably exit within the same day or maybe the next day at the latest all right so as day traders you know it's very difficult for us to find the tops and the bottoms it's not that we can't right but the accuracy rate is very low right so when they see the price moving upwards they are very tempted to just sell hoping that that would be the top Right, the end of the uptrend, and unfortunately, most of the time, uh, you know, they are wrong, right? And then they end up losing a lot of money. All right, what about the second one? The second one is the size of the trade is too big compared to the size of their trading account, right? So, for example, your your the risk is too big, right? The the lot size is too big compared to your trading account. I mean, look, if you're trading one standard lot on a one thousand dollar account that's way too high risk all right so you need to adjust your lot size according to the size of your trading account and finally the third reason is a lot of traders like to move their stop loss what does that mean so let's say you have placed your stop loss at let's say uh, 30 pips or you know just before just below or above the support and resistance and as the price moves towards your stop loss you know sometimes the some traders will feel okay you know i'm looking at the chart right now you know i'm monitoring my trade right now let's take away the stop loss you know so that just in case the price hits my stop loss and then turns around you know at least i can avoid that situation right so i'm going to remove the stop loss and then observe and see what happens and hopefully the price moves back in my direction and well most of the time that doesn't turn out well right so you could end up with a bigger loss than what you had planned for you end up with a bigger stop loss than what you had planned for or in the worst case scenario you know you could lose every single cent in your trading account just from that one huge unnecessary stop loss all right so you know never never ever change your stop loss never ever move your stop loss to make it wider and wider the only time you change your stop loss is when you are you know riding on the trend you are positive say maybe 30 to 50 pips and then you want to move your stop loss into the positive zone so that at least if the price reverses you know you don't end up with zero or negative and at least you still get a small 20 pip 30 pip profit that is fine all right but please do not move your stop loss to make it bigger all right so i feel that these are the three most common mistakes that uh, traders make so if you can avoid them they'll be great all right so uh that's all for today's topic now remember to like my facebook page or subscribe to my youtube channel all right thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye bye